Hello, my GD28 here, and today I have a review of the Sword Public Trax V8 engine. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Thank you. First, let's start off with the modularity of these headphones. That's what really brings a special, unique feature to these headphones is the modularity. Uh, I'll give you an example right here. You can take out these. First thing is the cord. A lot of headphones do this, but that's not it. Uh, right here, you can slide these right off, and that's why these are essentially called the V8 tracks, because these are supposed to be the tracks, and you, you slide these on the tracks. And uh, these are the sound. These are called the sound engines. And so, if one of your uh, sound engines right here, if one of them blow, you can just buy a single another uh, sound engine for your headphones. And right here is the uh, headphones completely, completely um, taken apart. I'll show you all the parts right here. Right there. There's the two sound engines. Right here is the cord with an uh, inline microphone. It does come with an inline microphone and uh, volume control. And here's the headband. Now let's start with the headband. The headband is uh, nothing really special. It's got this uh, nice comfortable foam uh, rest for the head. It, uh, I don't think it makes much of a difference, but it does add a nice quality look to it. It says Soul Republic right there. looks pretty nice. It's a uh, matte finish red and uh, shows you the left and the, the right side like most headphones do. Uh, pretty, pretty solid. And uh, one of the biggest features about this headband is that it's completely flexible. As you can see right there, flexing it basically all the way around. And uh, it's, they, they're adver advertised to be indestructible. Uh, I wouldn't actually go and try it. That was probably a bad idea to try that. But, you know, it's always good to have something advertised as indestructible. And that's about it for the headband. Uh... They are pretty long, so you can adjust the the uh, the sound engines to the size of your head, so that, that you can um, hit your head. And they clamp fairly hard, so they they create sort of like when you're wearing them on your head, they clamp on your head really hard, and uh, they can create some uncomfortableness in the ear, so. They, are, they might not be the best for wearing for long times, but for over maybe an hour and a half to two hours, you should be fine. But other than that, that's about it for these headbands. Pretty simple headband. Just just a headband with made of plastic with matte red. Now on to the cord. We have a, uh, a... I'm not sure how long this cord is, but it's a... Uh, it's a rubberish, rubberish feeling. So, uh, one bad thing about this cord is it gets caught on a lot of things. Like you're walking by and it might get caught on like a doorknob or something. And uh, like it just, it, it's like a sort of like a, it, it'll like stick to stuff. Like um, like it's like it like drags on stuff. And uh, yeah, that's like the cord. And it's not very. It's not very durable either like the, the over here right there like the inputs that you can't feel too secure with them because uh, I've heard people who uh, like these parts right here they pull out very easily like I it hasn't happened to me but I have heard that these uh, inputs and outputs do come out pretty easily let's get on to the uh, the inline microphone and audio control Sorry, this can't focus in on that. Let's see if I can get that. Nope, but it does uh, come with the plus the the volume up and the volume down key, and this middle key will mute the volume, and or no, not mute, but it'll it'll pause it and play it. And uh, there is a little I don't know if you can see that because this won't focus. There is a little tiny dot right there for the uh, microphone part portion. I have used this to record audio maybe once or twice in my videos. It, it's it's alright audio just like any other inline microphone. 
Now getting into the part that plugs into the uh, the sound engines, there is two of them, sort of an inconvenience. It would be nice to only have one that plugs into the headphone, like a one-sided cord. It does imp have an imprint of the left and right on it. I don't know. I'm not sure if you can see that. But these are not 3.5 millimeter jacks. These are, I believe, maybe 1.5. So they're fairly small, not very big, but uh, they do, they do um, fit nicely into the sound engines. And since these are so small, the cord over here is so small until you get to the inline microphone, and then the cord gets bigger. So these cords are very, you, you f they feel fragile. Going down to the other end of the cord, just a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with uh, it does say SOL right there for Soul, and uh, it looks it looks pretty sleek, just a nice circle with the uh, lime. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, other than that, nothing much for the cord. Now on to the uh, biggest part of this headphone, clear the the, uh, the the sound engines. These are called the V8 sound engines and they slide right onto the tracks, the uh, headphone, the headband which is considered the track. It does come with a nice glossy finish, it, uh, it, it is prone to scratches and lots of fingerprints. I'm not sure if you can see those but let me get it right in the light. There is lots of fingerprints, and uh, it does. It is prone to nicks on the corners if you accidentally drop them. And uh, right there, you can see the the hold the hole for where you slide in the headphone bands. It just comes with some Soul Republic branding right there. Looks pretty sleek, shiny with the top and some matte down here. Uh, right there's the uh, the the headphone jack for the for the cord. And that's about it. Uh, over here on the other side, it's a nice plush cushion. It uh, it does feel pretty good on the ear. I, th I feel like these headphones would be very comfortable for hours, more than two hours, if the head the headband did not clamp so hard on the head. But other than that, this is a very comfortable, very comfortable uh, cushion. Now on to the, the main part. The sound quality. The sound quality in these are very um, uh, hit and miss for me. They aren't very reliable in my in my opinion. Uh, I get I do sometimes get some crackling, and that is really a bust for me. I can't stand any crackling, especially when I listen to music, which these are which these sort of headphones are advertised for, like bass music and. Uh, Maybe house music, hip hop, dubstep. I don't really listen to dubstep, but I will listen to some some deep house music, and uh, I I do get some crackling. So it really bothers me, and it, it's really a bust for these headphones. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I just got a faulty pair. I don't know, but that it really does bog down the experience of these headphones. Uh, maybe I'll try out another pair and see if I can see if I find something different because these they really it really does bother me with the sound quality especially since these are some highly marketed headphones and some pretty expensive ones they were marketed at a hundred dollars when they first came out they are just the Soul Republic Trax V8 engines and there is the um, there is the Trax HD and the Trax V10 and V12 but even even though these are V8 tracks, they should still be able to to uh, to not crackle. Maybe I just got a faulty pair, but that. Hello, sorry about that. Um, my camera did uh, cut out and it lost its battery. Uh, and uh, excuse the poor quality video, the poor video quality in this uh, in this um, this video. Sorry about that. Uh, I will try to get that fixed. Uh, I used a brand new camera. Well, not a brand new camera. An old camera that I have not used yet. Uh, excuse that. I probably will not be using that again. Unless it's for pictures. Uh, I do have a camcorder back there. That I, I need to find the charger for. But 
other than that you can expect uh, some some changes in the videos I'm taking so that's about it for the Soul Republics uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this review of the Soul Republics and please leave feedback and for more please subscribe and uh, I'll see you tomorrow thank you